Baldur's Gate 3. Let's go. Oh. All right, I had to, to lower the freaking stuff down, okay? I lowered the graphics a little bit here so that we could have both recordings. So I really like having both recordings up. Give your profile a new name. The procrastinator, right? So I don't know anything about this yet. I haven't really... I just saw the preview like three or four years ago and that was it, so... I'm, I'm as lost as everybody else is right now. Oh no, this is some alien vs. predator shit going on. Oh no, 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 no. Oh shit. Oh, not the eye, please, not the eye. Oh god. Oh god, not the eye! Please, no! Dude, don't do this. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I hate stuff going into the eyes, man. I always got to. Who are you? Who am I? Freaking putting makeup on this lady, Jesus Christ. I guess, right? I mean, whatever. This game's really in depth. All the Baldur's Gates are, though. What are you gonna expect? All right, back at it. These are the good guys. I think I'm gonna get them. There you go. I need a dragon. Holy bananas, this is looking like it's gonna be a pretty good game here, guys. The other survivors. So this is like this is like the originals. They're not even joking around, right? This is like the actual OP original Baldur's Gates, man. They did a freaking crazy good job with this stuff. Oh, let's use it. Oh, I do feel better, right? I feel Brain jar? Uh, let's attack this brain jar. Devil Am I in the house? Oh shit! I just got attacked by this. Oh shit! Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I gotta go get healed up. I'm not trying to die right away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Oh shit! I just died bigly. My dude. One eternity later. All right, so we had to go through and change those appearances. Uh, we also died, so there's that. Um, yeah, death is pretty hard to handle here. So, um, so we're gonna try this again here. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. All right. Okay, that's actually fun. Uh, I can throw. Which is really useful here. Because uh, we're going to want to go up these stairs and go back to this dude. But I could break everything now, although I probably don't want to break everything. So we need to roll high on medicine or dexterity or something. And uh, unfortunately, we don't have any of those. So this game is already starting out pretty bad for us. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flares who abducted you. Ah, so I just rolled an arcana successfully, and now this is a minion. Remove us from this body. This is a minion of the mind flares. Notice edema, a swelling of the brain. Call it. We're gonna destroy the brain. It's a minion. Nothing happened to it. Alright, so this is a kind of a funky game. It's not really as... Uh, I thought it was going to be more like action-y. Like the Dark Alliance games were action-adventure. The more recent Neverwinter Nights games were all kind of action-adventure-y. Um, this game so far feels very, very D&D. Like old school... This is very, very old school, you know what I'm saying, man? Oh, damn. Dragons are back. How to get over there? Jump. Just like that. Dash. rush past a dragon's whim our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted within days we will be geek mind players who am i your only chance of survival and you mine though it pains me to say it first we exterminate the imps then we find the helm and take control exterminate easy we will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane Bro, I'm a wizard. All right, you know what that means, homie? You know what that means, homie? Watch this. Combat turns commence battle. Combat happens in turns. Each turn, you can do one action and one bonus action. You can also move. Roll the die decides the turn order. Gotcha. Your available actions are highlighted. Bonus actions are actions you can perform on top of your normal actions. Moving bar shows how much distance you can cover in your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna try and shoot this motherfucker, right? Dude! I guess, uh, end turn, right? Alright, so we've got, we've got three little imps. They all melee and range weapon use a melee weapon. I'm just near you and range weapon further away. Gotcha. Dude! Oh god, this guy's freaking awesome, man. We're gonna end the turn there, if these guys come. Oh, shitey. He's going to shoot me, any. he? Oh, it's only one. It's only one. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, that's four. That's bad. I'm out. Excuse bro. I got to I gotta back out. I don't really want to heal yet. I don't know what that... Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. I got to heal. I got to heal now, man. Dude gets slapped in the freaking face, man. And turn. Where's my spider? Oh, he's 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 moving, he's moving soon. What? Easy miss. Time to slash and dash. I'm gonna kind of go over here. And that turn there. Oh, get ready, buddy. Oh, 
I mean, I guess. Did I just shoot my dude? Oh shit. Okay, okay, t d d okay, you can hit your own team, that's bad. Oh jeez. That was not good. Alright. There is a lot to learn in this game, homies. So there is a lot, a lot, a lot to learn. Um, we're just going to go ahead and uh, loot all these corpses here. So I got a little familiar here. Here's my little spider. We all Gucci. Um, wasted a potion. Feels good. You okay, buddy? Uh, Boo got me. Got me. Got me. Right in the gut. Tell the babes I'll be alright. The Mind Flayers have already enthralled her. Leave her, or we will share her fate. Oh, shit. Three D six is probably the best I'm gonna get here. Shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck a duck. Him. How do I freaking help him? Oh, oh, thank Jesus. He's alive. Where are we supposed to go, right? Um, glass cannon. We're gonna make her our, our main character for now because she's so much stronger. Yeah, look at this shit, right? We've got a battle up here, I bet. Commence the battle. I want to go over here. And we're going to start the battle with some flamey hands. Nope. We're going to start the battle. Smack. It says this man dead. This man definitely not dead. <laughs> Pretty much 100% of this game is going to be me looting literally everything I find, so... Fun days. I can't believe they threw that fucking boss man at us right away, you know? That thing did like 12 damage. He immediately killed my dude. That's... That's hard modes right there. Alright. Go, 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 Nothing without knowing its purpose. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We have no time for stragglers. It cannot be helped. Come. Chica, homie, homie, homie. We should save uh, and then try and just hit these freaking buttons, right? We'll learn how to do this here. I'm trying here. This is one of them games that's going to take like 150,000 hours. Um, I'm not mad at it though. We've got to figure out how to open this chick's thingy. I don't want to leave her here. I'm supposed to be a good doobie. Oh my god, I'm sorry, lady. Ah, I didn't mean it. That was a quick transformation, though. Change her. 
changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. That did not go according to plan. <sighs> Damn. That lady gonna be stuck there. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Aye, Captain. I trust you. Oh, damn, he big. Not big enough. He just got eight. Right, so the demons be fighting these Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now! Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Oh, shitty. I'm sorry, kiddo. Oh, shitty. I'm sorry, kiddo. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should just zip past these guys, eh? Because he probably fell in a kill that motherfucker. And, uh... Did I just miss from directly in front of me? Forward, Istik, before the Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. We did the first, you know, hour and a half, two hours-ish of this game. Granted, you know, 45 minutes of this was me creating my characters, but um, I gotta say, I am I'm super surprised at the direction they took. I didn't expect this game to be such a throwback to the, the original Baldur's Gates. I expected it to be more along the lines of the Dark Alliance games. Um, I, like I said, I hadn't really checked up on this. I, I saw the, the preview or the, the trailer for it like a few years ago and I was like, oh crap, I'm definitely going to buy this game. But I didn't look at, I didn't do any research besides that. So it just came out. I figured why not? We'll give the review. So the first look, um, the graphics are actually really polished and crisp for, for what it is. I mean, it's one of those overhead sky views, turn-based tactic games. So you're not going to expect too much. But even if you are expecting a lot, rather, it's still pretty decent. I mean, the, the lighting is on point, the shading is on point, the 3D models are pretty good. There's clipping, but there's always going to be clipping in games like this. It's just impossible for there not to be. Um, and there's, I can, I can tell right now that this is going to be, if you love the original Baldur's Gates, or if you love those old school Nerf Winter Nights, or any of these D&D kind of um, turn-based games where... You roll, like, there, there's dice rolls, and there's, everything is a check. Everything is a dice check. Everything is a roll check. Or it's all chance, right? So if you loved any of those old games, this seems like it's going to be exactly like that. Just more, like, better graphics. It's all updated, right? Better graphics, larger world, I imagine. Um, more in-depth customizations and uh, storylines and and different arcs and like there's going to be like a tree i am like it, it feels like there's going to be this huge tree of a story where everything you do just gives you a different branch and it's just going to build from there um i love what i see so far but this is not going to be for everybody all right so this is not an action game this is not going to be um in your face constant action running around jumping around this is very much a board game on the computer so it's it's a tactics game so it, you need to you need to understand that going in that this isn't a first person shooter this isn't uh you know this is a 
triple A release old school game, which is something we really haven't really seen before. Now the story, even in the first hour and a half, because of what this is and how you can you can probably run through a lot faster than I did. We only got to, you know, out of the ship. We only got out of the ship. And that took me an hour and a half. Um because I was just picking everything up. I was looking for everything and I was doing a lot of investigation. And that's what this game is going to be. So this game is going to be hundreds of hours of me just investigating. I imagine uh, the original Baldur's Gates were a hundred hours of me just investigating. So this is a very slow paced game. It's going to be a very time consuming kind of a grind. Very specific, I guess. What I'm trying to say here is that this game is, it's for a specific crowd. It's not like all these game companies out there are trying to make their games all encompassing. Like Final Fantasy VII was like, oh, we want new fans. And then they go into this action action RPG rather than this turn-based RPG just so they can encourage other folks to, to, to like and, and to try the game. But Baldur's Gate did not do that with this. So if you were expecting a Dark Alliance, this is not it at all. If you were expecting something like the, the current Neverwinter Nights or something like a Guild Wars or a World of Warcraft or, you know, any of those MMOs that are out there, this is not it at all. This is a completely different beast. It's got good graphics. The story is so far engaging, and it is... You can absolutely expect this to be centered on the story. And you can expect this to be centered on multiple different story arcs. Um, the battle is a little bit hard to get right away. Because, again, I especially am so used to fast faster paced games now you know you you have all of your skills assigned to a button like a path of exile you can just zip around shooting things real fast this is not this is not like that at all so you need to get back in that mindset of everything is you've got your movement and you've got your action and that's it so um, they did add extra action buttons your bonus actions that you can take which is i haven't really explored too much but um I imagine those will be very useful. The combat right now is exactly like original Baldur's Gate and D&D style games is, so I'm guessing that's great. I'm not super in love with combat aspects of those games. Uh, I'm more in love with the story and the customization of your story, so how the world is created around you. That I, I'm in love with that stuff. So I can see that this is this is that what this game is going to be. We already lost somebody, right? I mean, maybe she'll come back later, but how cool would that have been if we could get that person right there? But we didn't. Uh, it was unfortunate. <laughs> but this game, it, it's looking... It's def the difficulty definitely doesn't hold your hand. The UI is very... It's a lot. So the interface that you're going to be encountering in this game, it's, it's pretty hectic, okay? So there's a lot of stuff to go through. And as with all these games, you're going to have to get used to that. I guess if you expected this to be an original Baldur's Gate, you're going to love it. If you expected this to be anything else, you might have some issues. I think that's the best way to put it. They nailed original Baldur's Gate, like remaking that whole system. They killed it. So this is, this is perfect for those folks that are going to look for this. Uh, for the folks that are, if you wanted this to be anything but Baldur's Gate, or I guess how do I put this? If you expected a faster paced game here, a faster paced RPG, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to play this game. But if you if you know Baldur's Gate, if you're gonna you're gonna put some hardcore hours into this game, guys. So I think that's the final verdict here is that. Uh, this is definitely going to be one of those hate it or love it games. You take it or leave it. It's There isn't really going to be a middle ground because of how specific this play style is. So, you know, there's not really any kind of room for interpretation here. You're either going to be playing this like your, the old school, old PC games, or you're not going to play it at all. And uh, I give this so far as a first look, probably 8 out of 10. It's looking really, really good, guys. So if you like Baldur's Gate, go ahead and grab it up. If not, 
I'd probably wait for maybe uh, a little bit more of an action-packed game. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out.